So why podcasting? Why am I doing presentation on specifically podcasting today? It isn't just about people talking into a microphone. It's a lot more than that, right? It's about asking ourselves, how can simple audio change the world? And that's what I want us to focus on today. So before we get started, I just want to go into a little bit about the podcasting revolution and why are we talking about podcasting? So like I mentioned, Joe Rogan hosts one of the most popular shows um, right now called the Joe Rogan Experience. And on average, he's reaching 11 million people per episode. Just think about 11 million people. If you think about a stadium, a stadium fills up about 65,000 people, right? Now think about a million people and then times it by 11. That's how many people one of his episodes get. Just to contrast it as well, think about a, a, a cinema. A cinema on average is going to fit about 100 people. Now times that by what? 110,000? <laughs> That's how many people he's reaching per episode. So it just shows you how you are able to amplify your voice through this means of communication. I also spoke a little bit about how amplifying your voice and getting attention online creates opportunities for you. Well, Joe Rogan, last, not last year, the year before, signed a deal with Spotify to take his podcast off of YouTube and host it exclusively on Spotify. This deal was a $100 million deal. So Spotify paid Joe Rogan $100 million to have his podcast exclusively hosted on the Spotify platform. That is a lot of money. So it just shows you how valuable that attention can be to platforms like Spotify. Because if you're able to communicate to 11 million people and you're selling a product, you can just imagine if 1% if of those a million people, I don't know if we have any mathematicians here in, in the session tonight, but just think about 1% of 11 million people. How many people is that? If you're going to market a project product and just 1% of those people buy it, how, think about how much revenue, how much money you can generate. So that's the power of attention. That's kind of an idea in terms of the opportunities that having or garnering this attention online can bring you. Just to give you some other statistics in terms of podcasting, in the last, well, it is expected that by the end of this year, there will be $3.46 billion generated in ad revenue from podcasts. So they're expecting $3.46 billion in ad revenue to be generated from podcasts this year. That is crazy amounts of money. There are also 464 million podcast listeners as of 2023. So it just shows you how many people are enjoying consuming podcasts and are actively listening to podcasts. And this number is expected to increase to 504.9 million by the end of next year. So it just shows you that there's also 140, 150 more million people that are going to start listening to podcasts in the next year. And all of those people are going to be looking for podcast content out there. So it just shows you a little bit of an opportunity in terms of get, grabbing their attention. I see Ashandi has mentioned in the chat that 1% of a million people is 110,000 people. So if those 110,000 people in each, just remember, it's also each episode. So if I'm not mistaken, Joe Rogan drops about two episodes a week. So if he drops two episodes a week, right? And let's say 110,000 people from each of those episodes buys one a one rand product from each of those episodes that means each episode is generating 110,000 rand per episode times that by twos that's 220,000 rand um, generated every week times that by four that's almost a million rand every week and that's just of one percent of these listeners are buying that product so it just shows you how these numbers can multiply and create a lot of economic value 